Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Mary Z, and you are watching the Voice Hacks channel. Today, we're going to talk about 10 of the hardest songs to sing in heavy metal. This is mostly clean singing stuff. I will get to another one with harsh vocals. Tell me in your comments which songs you think clean singing harsh. I'll make more of these for you. But I think it's fun to highlight some of the most amazing accomplishments of vocalists in metal and to really look at like how technical metal really is. The first one I'm gonna highlight, a lot of you actually know from the movie Rockstar. It makes my stomach change. which is already kind of a pretty old movie. And if you haven't seen it because of that, I recommend just going back and giving it just a little watch. It really loosely models the story of Ripper Owens and how he got into Judas Priest. That's when Krista slipped Travis a British Steel video she'd shot back in 95. In January of 96, the band flew me over to like regroup and start running through some of the material that KK and uh, Glenn had written and I brought this videotape with me. At the last minute, uh, Scott came over, put a video in front of us um, with Ripper on there. We couldn't believe it. You know? I mean, we just couldn't believe what we were seeing. Yeah. I mean, it is an overly sensationalized, fictional sort of model of that, but it's kind of based on that journey there. Obviously, in this movie, Mark Wahlberg did not do the singing. If you haven't seen his musical project from the 90s, I think that can give you an idea about where his vocal skills lie. Strictly hip hop, boy. Singing this, bringing this. So they had some really talented vocalists do the vocal dubbing. The song everybody tries to sing from this movie that is ultra challenging is the big ballad, We All Die Young, sung by Milyanko Machovic of Steelheart. This is a really tough song to sing, not only because it's pretty much designed for a high voice. Many of the songs we're going to talk about today are extremely high for most male vocalists. A lot of these you would have to change the key unless you have an inherently high voice, because there is a point at which if you're a baritone that you're just not going to hit these notes in the same way and you're going to be fighting and straining. But this is an amazing power ballad that is extremely difficult to sing, not only because of the high high notes, but also because of the control and the kind of dynamic complexity of it. It's soft in the verses and really big in the chorus. The next song that I think is really hard to sing in metal, and a lot of people in my lessons try to learn it, but I definitely want them to wait until they're more advanced, is Given Up by Linkin Park. I've given I think Chester Bennington is a really, really underrated vocalist. He also had an extremely unusually high voice, and he was known for his harsh vocals. With the more radio-oriented hits, you didn't get to hear him do his full-on screams. In this song, he's known for doing an 18-second scream, and he often pulled it off all the way live. harsh vocals in this song, in addition to how high the chorus is, make for an extremely exhausting, almost athletic endeavor. If you can do this song, you are really at the top of your game, technically. Third on my list is actually a Nightwish song. It's the one that's been most reacted to. It's their cinematic epic piece, Ghost Love Score. <laughs> This 
this song is extremely difficult to sing well because it actually involves a ton of different melodic textures and it goes through different parts of the vocal register. A person could theoretically do it all in one style if they do it entirely classical or operatically, but the most popular version of this is Floor Janssen's interpretation of it, which involves three different singing styles, belting, mixing, and classical singing. That's how I would classify it. I think some of you might think of it as chest, head, and classical. I kind of prefer to steer away terms like chest voice and head voice, but either way, Floor is doing all three of these things in one song and executing them perfectly, even in a live setting. So I think that is where this becomes really difficult. It is almost like several songs wrapped into one song. It's very long, and it also has a lot of dynamic complexity, parts that have to crescendo slowly. This makes it really, really difficult. This song involves a lot of control and a lot of conscious decision making about what tones you're going to use where long before you ever start taking it to the stage. My next choice for most difficult songs to sing goes back to an old yet heavily reacted to Devin Townsend song back off of his album Accelerated Evolution. This song is called Deadhead. It is a big epic song in which, again, he builds from something small to epic fry screaming. And Devin can get crazy high whistle harmonics in his fry. So if you don't know how to do full on fry screaming, this is going to be incredibly difficult because you're not going to be able to reach those notes with your actual voice. You got to learn how to make like whistle fry harmonics and fry scream and combine it seamlessly with other vocals. So this one really makes the list of most difficult songs to sing. Let's take a look at another incredibly difficult high song to sing, and this is the song War Cry by the band Outworld. If you guys don't remember Outworld, it actually featured a crazy technical lineup of musicians, one of whom was Rusty Cooley, who was regarded as one of the fastest guitar players at the time. But the singing here done by Carlos Zima, who, by the way, in case you didn't know, is my husband, is incredible. The song War Cry is incredibly difficult to sing, partially because of how high it is. But I think even if you had a lower voice and you put it in a key where it was in an accessible spot for you, I'm not sure it would be any easier. It rides up on the high notes and it really, really relies on a lot of breath support and stamina. This song is pure stamina. So if you can hit the notes, then you have to control them and sustain them for quite a while throughout this song at quite a great intensity. Carlos is an amazing vocalist with an incredibly wide vocal range, and he has some of the craziest highs I've ever heard. He's also able to make whistle harmonics and things with his high notes, so he was the perfect fit for this song, but it is majorly challenging. If you're interested in hearing more about Carlos and his vocals now, check out his current band, Immortal Guardian. If we stay in this kind of high-voiced area, many of you are probably already thinking that the Judas Priest song, Painkiller, should be on on this list. Pain, 
And actually, I think the death version, the Chuck Schuldner interpretation of the song, could also make the list. <laughs> Because they're both crazy good performances on an insanely high, intense song, but with different vocal styles entirely. I would encourage you to check out the death version if you haven't already. But the Judas Priest version is incredibly difficult to sing, and it's probably one of Halford's most legendary performances. <laughs> Let's deviate from power metal type of singing to grunge era. One of the most reacted to songs on YouTube is, of course, Love, Hate, Love by Alice in Chains. <laughs> Why is that considered such a difficult song to sing? Well, Lane is a high tenor. It is. It might not be like falsetto type of high singing, but it's really high belting. And so for a lot of male vocalists, this is going to be really tough to manage. The other thing about it is he does a ton of pentatonic runs. And so if you are not practicing your minor pentatonics, you are not going to be able to sing this song. You've really got to slow the runs down and practice them very, very slowly and then build them back up. It is run after run in this song, performed with incredible accuracy. And so it really does require a lot of intense focus and practice to pull something off like this. Love, hey, love. could forget Dragon Force, The Fire and the Flames. You guys all grew up hearing this on Guitar Hero games. And certainly the vocals are incredibly high and difficult. I think the biggest thing, other than the actual vocal range of the song, where it, where it sits, how high it is, is the speed. It's such a fast song. You have to articulate the lyrics really, really quickly, and then you've got to get your breaths in super, super fast. I mean, you don't have very much time to breathe for such an intense song. In your darkest dreams, Moving on to a European band, although I think a lot of you might have discovered this band through memes, one of the hardest songs I think to sing is The Highlander by Lost Horizon. Whoa! a huge, huge Lost Horizon fan uh, from way back in the day when they were active. And the singer, Daniel Hyman, is an amazing vocalist who does some of the most incredible high vocal tones with super sparkly sheen resonance on it that I've ever heard. So I highly recommend checking them out and just realize it's a really big challenge to perform any of their songs, but in particular the Highlander because it has a lot of long, sustained vocal runs. They're not pentatonic runs like Alice in Chains, but they are very long vocal melodic runs. <laughs> The last song goes back to old school Pantera. Of course, I'm going to pick Cemetery Gates. We see 
some crazy stuff that's really difficult to replicate. I think the part of Cemetery Gates where he goes up high is extremely difficult. A lot of people like singing that song, but then all of a sudden they get to that high falsetto part and it's like a deal breaker. So if you're not able to access that type of your that part of your range or you're not familiar with it yet, uh, it's going to be incredibly difficult. The song would involve belting and then this high falsetto type of vocals about an octave higher. So you're going to have to have a pretty wide range to tackle it and be really familiar with accessing that part of your voice or it's just not going to work. Thanks everybody for checking out some of the hardest vocals to sing in metal. Let me know who you want to see in like the all harsh vocal edition of this. Tell me what you think are the hardest songs. Tell me who you want to see for another version of the clean singing. Tell me if you disagree with this. Thanks, everybody. And if you want to learn more about how to improve your vocals, everything you need is in the comments and the description below. Thanks for giving the video a like and the channel a subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon. Whoa!